Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Years before Pokemon Go, Sega was there first with Sega Bass Fishing. Gotta catch them all. Every fish in the lake must die. It's gonna be a big one. Originally released to the arcades in 1997, Sega Bass Fishing is a fishing video game. A fishing video game. What's next? A farming simulator? I'll be honest, I just don't get this one. I don't get it. But then again, I've only been fishing in my life like twice. And that was about 30 years ago. I vividly remember standing outside, which I don't like to begin with, being eaten by bugs, throwing a lure into the water and catching nothing. This one's huge. Maybe that's the appeal of Sega Bass Fishing. You can catch some really big fish somehow. Come on, fish. I've got a good home for you. I think you have to have some kind of rudimentary understanding of fishing to really get into this game, but I find it fascinating. So I don't get it, but it's intriguing. This is a 1999 release for the Sega Dreamcast, and my two favorite things about it are the music and the fishing controller. I love the fishing controller. And nothing says fishing like this song feel the heat it's fishing yeah Woo! can you play quake 3 arena with this controller that's what i'm gonna try to do later now you don't need the sega fishing controller to play sega bass fishing but i would not recommend playing it with the standard dreamcast controller instead of reeling in your line with the spinny thing you alternate pushing the left and right triggers, and it's it's just not not all that exciting. I think you'd be better off playing Crazy Taxi. Be careful. No. Small one. Someone sent me a copy of Sega Bass Fishing 2 a while ago, and I felt like the proper way to play it was with the fishing controller. So I bought one on eBay, and by the way, they're not that cheap. Fight it. I'm reviewing the fishing controller separately, but it's kind of like the Wiimote. You fling it, and it throws your, um, whatever that thing is called with the, the hook on it into the water to catch fish. And then you reel it in with the, um, spinny thing. There's a couple locations to choose from, and before you go fishing, you can choose which one of the, uh, lures or whatever those things are called to use. Size. Good job. You got a special and I think that's where some know-how of real fishing may come in, because I just couldn't figure out what these fish wanted. I'm trying to reason with extremely stupid animals. And the game goes so far as to give you different times of day, different weather conditions, different water temperature, but none of that meant anything to me. All I really wanted to do was just jump in the water and beat these fish to death with the fishing controller. Is that too much to ask? Fish. After you've somehow tricked these dumbass animals into latching onto your lure, you reel them in and you can kind of move your rod to the left or the right, and you, if you reel quickly, you risk breaking your line. And it seems like a pretty good attempt at recreating fishing in 1990s video game form. This one's huge! As far as the Sega Dreamcast release goes, the game looks excellent. There's an arcade mode and a championship mode. In the arcade mode, you catch fish and it adds time onto the clock. In the championship mode, it's like you're doing the same thing but over a longer period of time. Obviously, you want to catch as many fish as possible, but what really matters is the size of the fish. The bigger the fish, the more filet -O fish sandwiches you can make out of it. They're never actually clear what you do with all the fish that you catch. Do you keep them in a giant tank somewhere? Do you evolve them and then train them to battle other fish? Do they turn into legendary fish? I don't know. 
Maybe that's where Sega Bass Fishing loses me. There needs to be another element. What do you do with the fish that you catch? Can you train them to go kart racing? I guess the really big question is if you're into fishing, wouldn't you rather just go fishing for real? I mean, the Sega Dreamcast is pretty awesome, don't get me wrong, and I love that it says Sega Bass Fishing on the VMU card. But I can also think of better ways to spend my time on the Sega Dreamcast. With the fishing controller, no less. Oh, you stupid ass fish! I've got this great controller. I feel like it's going to waste with this game. You thinking what I'm thinking? Gigawing plays pretty well with the Sega Fishing Controller. Reel in those big points. It's Sega Bass Fishing. Not one for me, but maybe for you, if you like fishing for virtual fish. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name... In a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From New Jersey. Michael Fernandez. People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver. Woo! EDM. Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia. Philip Strabenmuller from Vienna, Austria. Austria. Cue the thunder. Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar. Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, Fighter of Space Bees. Woo! Rick. DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson. Nelson fighters of the future. That's enough disco because now it's time to shout Busy Signal. That's right. And keep the volume loud and the party rocking for Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert Tubular Will 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 Will, Will.